This video is going to be for the palpation of biceps brachia. So we have our individual in a supine position. We're going to talk about both heads, biceps being two heads, and they have separate origins. So we'll be finding the coracoid process, which is currently where my fingers are. And then the other one is a non-palpable structure that we'll kind of discuss. So with biceps brachii, um, for finding the coracoid process, again, you can use the palpation videos from previous for finding bony landmarks but really I'm gonna be inferior to the lateral portion of the clavicle here. I'm gonna drop down. And if I use some medial and lateral rotation, I should not be moving when I'm on that coracoid process. I'm gonna get him to do a little bit of a bicep action. So in a supinated position of his forearm, I'm gonna ask him to flex his elbow, good. And you can feel a little bit of tightening up inferior to that. Now we're also gonna be palpating this underneath his pectoralis major. So what we're going to do is I'm going to shorten up his biceps to start. So in this region here, biceps, I'm going to soften up his pec or slacken it by passively bringing his elbow up. I'm going to go underneath pectoralis major until I get up. And right there, it might be hard to see, but I'm on his coracoid process from underneath pec. I'm now gonna ask him to do that bicep elbow flexion for me. Go ahead, good. And my finger basically right in here is there's a tightening up. So I'm on the short head of biceps brachii right now, underneath his pec major, making contact with that coracoid process. The long head, which is sitting the tendinous part of it inside the bicepital groove. So right in here, I can easily cross fiber strung that. The tendon's going up, it's gonna go underneath the acromion and then it'll become unpalpable as it's making its way towards the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. So in reality, we're only gonna be able to start palpating it right here as it's going between the greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus. And then the tendon becomes very obvious as it makes its way down into the arm. It meets up with the short head. Um, and a lot of times you can actually kind of separate the two heads a little bit, the proximal end. So I'm gonna get my person to resist, good. So you can easily see kind of biceps here, but if you kind of go to the more proximal part and gently sink in, I'm getting them to relax a little bit, good. You can actually start to separate the long and short heads of biceps here and here. They're gonna to blend together as they go down. So I'm gonna again get them to gently fire that for me, good. And as I work my way down, it's narrowing to a point, which that biceps tendon is quite easy to find and strong. You can actually even stick your finger up underneath a biceps tendon quite easily on that distal end. As it crosses the elbow joint, the biceps has two insertion points. So the first one's more superficial and a little bit confusing in this direction, but it's actually inserting into what's called the bicipital aponeurosis, which feels like it's heading towards the ulna. So again, I'm gonna get you to resist for me just a little bit. Good, and right here, it's quite superficial, and it starts to fan out as it's more of a fascial connection. The second landmark for the insertion is where the more of the tendons inserting, so I'm cross fibering his tendon right now, I'm gonna sink in to his forearm. So I have him in a flexed elbow position passively, which shortens up the muscle tissue, making it easier for me to sink down. And I'm heading towards what is known as the radial tuberosity. It's also called the bicipital tuberosity, obviously because biceps is inserting into it. I'm using a little bit of supination and pronation for me to feel the spinning action of radius underneath my fingers so I know when I'm on it. And lastly, I'm gonna get him to gently do that biceps action. Good, and right there, my finger's going up and down. Let's do it one more time, up and then relax. It goes back down. So I'm as close as I'm gonna to get to that radial tuberosity of the radius. So that'll be the insertion. Again, one's more superficial and then one's deep inside the forearm. The biceps brachii is gonna be responsible for several actions at multiple joints. So we'll talk about the first one up at the shoulder here because of both of the heads are starting on the scapula, it's gonna be responsible for doing flexion. And some texts will also talk about doing more of a horizontal flexion or adduction component. As the bicep goes down, 
it crosses the elbow joint, so it's responsible for doing flexion at our elbow. And its insertion is on the radius, so as we start in a pronated position, it's actually going to pull the radius upwards, so we call that supination. So it's doing supination of the radial ulnar joints, flexion at the elbow joint, and flexion at the ground humeral joint. And this muscle is innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve.